Welcome sa zip9.com, ano? Uh, ngayong araw, mag-aaral tayo kung paano mag-multiply ng polynomials, ano? So, let's start with our first example. One. We have uh, 2x times negative 3x squared. By the way, bago nyo panoorin itong video na ito, dapat alam nyo yung, ano, no, yung uh, loss of exponent. Dahil gagamit tayo ng loss of exponent dito at syempre yung uh, multiplication of integers and addition of integers. So, dapat uh, master nyo na yun bago kayo, uh, bago nyo panoorin itong video na ito. Ano? Uh, in case nakalimutan nyo, punta, puntahan nyo lang itong signayan.com and then hanapin nyo yung mga uh, ganong topics. Ano? So, Multiplication of integers, addition of integers, saka loss of exponents. Okay, so let's start. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. You know? And then 2 times, and, and then x times x squared is x cubed. Okay? Yung sagot natin. Number 2 is negative 5x times x minus Five, ano? So, magiging negative 5x squared kasi five, negative 5x times x and then minus then negative 5x times 5 is negative kung bali, ang minumultiply natin dito baka malito kayo, ano? Ang minumultiply natin dito ay negative 5x times 5, ano? Ito yung minus natin. Ito yung minus. This is the minus sign. Okay? So, ang minimultiply natin itong negative 5x at saka 5. So, magiging negative 25 siya, ano? 25x. Okay? So, simplify natin yung dalawang minus na magkasunod magiging Minus of negative is magiging plus. So negative 5x squared plus 25x. So, ito yung pinakasagot natin. Okay? Number 3. What is 4x squared minus 3x plus 8 times... 4x. Okay. So again, pwede nating unahin itong 4x and i-distribute natin. Ano? But pwede naman, pwede naman ang dito So 4x times, muna tayo. So maging 4x times 4x squared, 4 times 4 is 16, x cubed minus and then, ito naman sa pangalawa. What is 4x times 3x? Again, ito yung minus natin. Ha? Baka malito kayo. This is the minus sign. And then, ang minimultiply na natin ngayon is 4x times 3x. So, this is 12x cubed. Oh, sorry. 12x squared. And then, plus... What is 4x times 8x? That is 32x. Okay? So, 16x cubed minus 12x squared plus 32x. Okay? Yan yung pinakasagot natin. Last example. What is 2x squared y times quantity x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Okay? So again, 2x, 2 times 1 is 2, of course. May 1 yan dito, ano? Napag-aralan na natin. Pag walang, pag walang uh, coefficient, ibig sabihin meron siyang 1. And then x squared plus x squared is x to the 4th. And then yung y, y times uh, this quantity here. Kasama na lang natin yung y. No? So, wala siyang kasama. And then, 
minus 2 times 2 is 4 and then x times x x squared times x is x cubed and then y times y is y squared plus 2 times 1 is 2 again and then wala kasama yung x squared so lalagay lang natin siya and then uh, y times y squared is y cubed Okay, pag walang kasama, sinasama na lang yan f. Kasi for example, a times b. Diba? Pag nag-a times b tayo is same as a, b. Okay, sinasama natin yung wala siyang kaparehong variable dun sa uh, isang factor niya. Ano? So this is, the, this is the correct answer. Ano? So sa next post or sa next video ay uh, pag-aaral naman natin yung uh, binomial. Ano? Binomial multiplied to a binomial and uh, polynomials kasi ito mostly ang unang ang isang factor natin ay monomial. So maraming salamat and see you in the next video.